If you have a question, don't hesitate. I'm curious. There's no fossils or anything with, it, with these. He said, um, well, it's interesting. If you go to the Museum of Natural History, go to the Egyptian part, uh -huh. and, and you'll see, on the frieze, you'll see the pictures of women with the ears of a goat. No, uh, yeah, or, yeah. or you know. I, and I, he says the Sphinx, part of what it was there was a representation of the head of a woman with the body of a lion. Right. Um, but an actual physical, which would really put right. it together, for whatever reason, no. No. Uh, he says that there are three places on the planet which we're coming into. One is in the Yucatan, one is uh, off the coast of Bimini, and one is in the, I think it's in the, it's either the Sphinx or the Pyramids, where the records of man from the beginning of time are stored. So from the time we were souls, it's stored. The Great Pyramid. Is that what it is? It's in the Great Pyramid. And he says, when the time is right, um, it'll be found. It's almost like the Indiana Jones movie, where they have these spirits guarding it, and you, know, you can't get to it. He says they're guarded, whatever that means. But he says, you won't find it until the time is right, when whatever that time is. Now, it becomes interesting because your December 21st, 2012, is the Mayan prophecy. That's when... Uh, the main say we're coming into the new epic. Mm -hmm. uh, Casey talks about the thousand years of peace that we're coming into, where symbolically again he says Satan will be uh, imprisoned and you'll have a thousand years of peace, love, and Christ will come back on the earth. Uh, and he said there would be a new root race. That's how Casey put it, a new root race which is being prepared. So, what does that mean? Um, souls come into the world in cycles. Casey was very into cycles. He said in the 1900s, 1901, 1902, 1903, you had many Atlantean souls that came in. He said, I think I did this the last time, 43, 44, 45, 46. Anybody born then? Well, we did this the last time. What he says is your purposeful souls. He says, the people born in those four years, he says, much will depend upon the future uh, of civilization on the, on the souls that are born in, that, in those four years. Uh, that's in the other book, The Edgar Casey Reader, one of my favorite books. I don't know if I brought it with me. But that's cycles. There's cycles when souls come in and when we come out. Amelius becomes Adam. Adam now begets Eve. So now we have Adam and Eve, and now it becomes interesting. Now, he actually starts back ten and a half million years ago. Historically, he says there was the continent of Lumeria, which also sunk before Atlantis. It gets it gets kind of hazy here. It, he doesn't. It's not exactly, because there's not enough readings that really give you everything that happened in between. Uh, he said in the readings what he calls Arcturus. He says that's the center of the universe for us. He says when you get to that point, you have a choice. He says you can go on to whatever going on means, or you can come back to help. So the person uh, who he was talking made a decision to come back, and he said that was not a, an unusual decision. Um, but we forget, like when I was going through some of these books, uh, in one of the readings Casey gave, it was a past life reading, he told this woman she was uh, Jody, or Judy, who was one of the teachers of Christ. She was an Essene, and she was a teacher of Christ. And I don't have the book here, but there's even novels that have been written about what went on with this teacher, because she spent many years with him when he was a child teaching him the way of the Essenes. So here is, he gives a past life reading, and this woman 
is the one who had taught Christ. So he's, this was the only time it happened. After he gave the reading, he got down on his knees and went over to this woman. As he came out of the trance and put his head on her, uh, because this was, and he said, this woman didn't have a clue. She was not spiritual. She was not, she had, she had come back in this incarnation to do something totally different. So that just shows you, you never know, you know, what you're here for, or who you're talking to. Here, here you have the teacher of Jesus Christ and doesn't have a clue who she is. Has no remembrance of what it is. So uh, everybody's here for a different reason. You see? Um, and uh, again, you'll see over and over again in the readings. At the end of the day, it comes down to two things that you have to do. Nothing else. You have to learn how to love, and you have to learn how to forgive. At the end of the day, there is nothing else. Uh, and I'll leave it on that note, but we'll come back to that. But that's how he ends it in, in the John Van Alken book, where he talks about love. You see, right now it's all about me. It's not about you. You see, I really don't care about you. In my heart of hearts, I'm very selfish. You see, I want to get as much, I want... That's what the Atlanteans were all about. You see, when you get into Atlantis, which we'll get into a little later, uh, they knew about the laws of the universe. But they didn't care. They were called the sons of Bilio. All they cared about was moi. I, wanted, I didn't want to work. I was lazy, so I wanted slaves. I wanted automatons. I wanted things. And when I couldn't get them, then I went around to the neighboring towns, mm -hmm. and I captured 